Hi Libra. Welcome to your reading. So this is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, or any other strong placement where you have strong Libra. Ah, Libra. What's going on with you? So I'm doing air signs now, so I decided to do Libra right now. Um, ooh, right off the bat, this is your energy, Libra. Um, Libra, some of you guys are in this energy of, like, wanting to, like, find peace. I feel like some of you guys may want to escape. And just like find peace. <clears throat> Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here for Libra? Why is the Six of Swords here for Libra? Alright, this is a lot out. Um, so Libra, I kind of see something where you're just kind of like, you might be stressed out or you might be kind of feeling remorseful in regards to some type of new beginning. Possibly in work, okay, because the Six of Swords, it's clarified with the five of cups the ace of pentacles in the reverse death the seven of swords the ace of wands and then we have the eight of swords So this is kind of about you needing to take some type of action. So you might feel some, like, okay, you can be feeling like you need to get away or you need to run away or something <clears throat> in regards to, like, your past or, like, something, like, there's something that you regret, and I feel like this might have to do with work. This can do with like a gift, money. Here's the Knight of Wands. Um, it's almost like You feel like some type of plan might not work out. It's like there's like there's something here where it's like maybe like some job came to an end for you. Yeah, um The Magician, the Hierophant, the Ten of Rods, and then the Three of... I feel like there's something here where it's like you need to like move away from your past, okay? In order for you to have new beginning. Because I feel like this past, okay, this past energy is holding you back from having new beginnings. And I feel like you do want to have a new beginning. You do want to have a new beginning. You do want, you know, some type of new beginning, new relationship and stuff. But it's just kind of like you feel like this, like the plan may fail. Okay. But there's something here in regards to, you know, needing to take some type of action. Possibly passionate. 
because the wands it can be about passionate energy and then with the magician the hierophant the ten of wands and the three of cups I kind of feel like this is saying that <clears throat> I feel like this is spirit telling you that you need to like, you need to like manifest this, like you need to manifest, you know, and I feel like you need to surrender to the divine and trust in the divine in order to let go and release these burdens so you can go out and celebrate, you know, the way that you should be celebrating. I feel like this has to do with work possibly. With the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse here. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse? This can be about like a missed opportunity. Or like somebody like taking a gift back or giving a gift back or something. Like a return. This can be about like even getting fired from a job. Quitting a job. Um, okay. The Ace of Pentacles is in the reverse, and this has to do with some type of communication from your past. This can be like communication from your mom, your sister, a family member. Somebody that broke your heart. I feel like there's some type of communication that's coming in from possibly a past person and I feel like this is just like really holding you back and I feel like I feel like the reason why you're having a hard time finding a new beginning is because of this heartache that this past person could have caused you okay uh, ace of swords six of cups and the three of swords Somebody could have put you in a third party. Someone could have put you in a third party. You could have put somebody in a third party. Clarify death. Clarify death for Libra. So death is clarified with the page of wands and the two of cups. So this is about receiving some type of like message in regards to possibly having a new beginning or an ending. Yeah, there could have been like an ending in regards to a relationship. Yeah, this is about an ending. But I feel like there's a past lover that you still can't get over and it's causing you to like you're very restricted you're very conflicted this ending yeah it's kinda like you wanted to have a victory with somebody or I almost feel like this is about somebody getting a lot of attention being single and somebody's gonna get like a shocking message or this can also be about a surprise pregnancy yes give me a second sorry about that and it's funny because when I mentioned that somebody could be pregnant or could have gotten pregnant when I mentioned something about pregnancy and I, I, I am kind of seeing like something here about like a pregnancy or like a possible like birth of a child or something because we have the ace of wands and the ace of wands is it speaks about fertility the birth of a child and then we have the page of cups and this can be about you know a surprise shocking pregnancy okay the ace of swords this can talk about like a new career a new endeavor um I'm, there's a lot of aces here so there's something here about like some type of like new beginning 
Like, you need to have a new beginning because the worst is over. Like, I feel like there's, like, an ex or something or somebody that's, like, causing you to, like, not move forward. Not to take action. Is it somebody that you work with? Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you need to like manifest like this healing. Okay. I feel like you need to surrender to the divine. Okay. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna get an offer. Are you already are getting offers okay Libra so there's offers coming in like people are offering you you know a lot of offers but like you're distant you're very distant I feel like you might even be kind of like closed off a little bit like I feel like you're getting a lot of recognition okay because the six of rods and the nine of pentacles like you can be very Beautiful, single. I feel like you might just be focused on money right now. Like financial stuff. But I feel like you need to put that on hold and possibly look for love. That's a chunk right here that just came out. But the road just came out. Yeah, I feel like you're, like you're searching for something. You're on a quest for, like, a new cycle or, like, you're on a quest to, like, explore the world. Like, I feel like you're just kind of, like, exploring the world or you need to explore the world, Libra. Tell me about the person that's on Libra's mind, please. What can you tell me about the person that's on Libra's mind? Ooh. you could be dealing with a Capricorn or this person that's on your mind <clears throat> you're possibly obsessed with them or they are obsessed with you or this person can be very toxic and bad for you and you know it but you, like you still think about them um, you can be addicted to this person or this person can be addicted to you Tell me more about the person that's on Libra's mind. Oh yeah, like whoever it is, like you're not letting them go or they're not letting you go. You need to like, I feel like, you know, it's kind of like you're you're ready for some type of action with this person. Yeah, like you're 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 waiting for this person to make some type of loving offer. This is possibly a Cancer Scorpio Pisces that you're waiting for. Yeah, like you're obsessed with this person. Like you see like a future family with this person. You're obsessed with this person. And you refuse to let this person go. How does the person on Libra's mind feel about Libra? How does a person on Libra's mind feel about Libra? Two of Pentacles. Uh, this can be about like juggling. Like they feel like you're juggling. They feel like you're doing a lot. This can be about um, you need to find balance possibly, which I do kind of see that. I do feel like you need balance. I feel like there needs to be a balance between, you know, career, stability, love, 
going out and celebrating. I feel like, you know, you're just so focused on work. Clarify the two of pentacles. Yeah, this person may feel like you need to find balance and go within. Like, I feel like you're not, yeah, you're, I feel like you're not getting this self-care. Because I feel like the hermit, it kind of has to do with self-care. This talks about, like, going within. Yeah, I feel like you work way too much. Like, you're way too tired from working. You're way too tired from working. Like this, this, this person like knows that you're juggling so much. This can also be about a third party too. Clarify the three of pentacles. The three of pentacles can also mean like a possible third party. Three of Pentacles. Um, yeah, the Empress. But the Empress is in the reverse. The Hermit and the Empress are both in the reverse. So this can be about... Um, the Fool... Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, this can definitely be about a third party. Yeah. Libra. Um, this is about a third party, possibly. This is possibly about juggling. Clarify the hermit in the reverse. Yeah, like this. This hermit, like this hermit, can feel like you know you're you're keeping your options open or something. There's something here about like a gift, giving, like it's something I hear about like an equal give or take. There's secrets here. There's something here about like a possible like secret, an apology about deception. I feel like somebody is like causing a lot of confusion or somebody is like really confused right now. Why is the Queen of Wands here? I hope everybody is happy and safe right now. Queen of Wands, why is the Queen of Wands here? Ooh, the chariot. Um, yeah, there's something here about like traveling to see somebody or somebody's traveling to go see you. Um, this can possibly be at work. But this is also about, you know needing to like kind of move forward and fight and have this strength yeah because this is gonna cause a tower there's like a lack of balance something is gonna cause a tower 
like you're you're gonna cause a tower because there's like lack of balance yeah and there's like messages back and forth communication about like needing to make a decision this can be about needing to make a balanced decision possibly about like teaming up with somebody at work this can also be like love related though Queen of Cups. Yeah, this is kind of about like a message in regards to making a decision. Like you possibly need to make a decision about a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or you need to make a decision regarding love. What advice do you have for Libra? That's a lot. The card that flipped over... The two cards I flipped over is the Star and the Knight of Swords. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So you could be talking to a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Because this is this is Aquarius energy and then this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So you can be getting some type of like um, communication from a Aquarius. And this is going to make you happy, bring you... I feel like, you know, the will is finally turning in your favor, possibly. Yeah, but you just need to stop being so guarded. The will is not going to turn in your favor if you're so guarded. And if you keep, like, thinking about the past... Yeah, like, you need to stop... Like there's, oh, this can be family related too, but I feel like you need to stop being so guarded and you need to stop having such a sharp tongue. Like if you want to have like abundance and you want to like, you know, reach your 10 of cups, you know, which is like full abundance and everything, um, you need to stop being so guarded and possibly even spiteful. I feel like you might have like kind of like a little bit of a bad attitude. There's also something here about secrets. Um, I kind of feel like there's a secret that like you need to tell somebody, but it's like you're blocking it. Like you're scared. You're not communicating this. I kind of feel like you might have a crush on somebody and you're trying to decide if you want to like make a move on this person or something. Tell me about the high priestess. So the high priestess. Okay, so this is some type of secret. So you could still possibly be connected to an ex. Or there's a secret that you know. Like you know that somebody's talking to an ex. You could be talking to an ex. Or this can be about like either you wanting to leave somebody. Or somebody wanting you to leave somebody. You wanting somebody to leave somebody. Like this is about somebody leaving somebody. Clarify the lovers and the eight of cups. What is this about? The sun in the reverse. Yeah, this is a secret that like hasn't been. Yeah, this is a secret that hasn't like been known. Like no one knows this secret. It's it's hidden. of wands Aries your Sagittarius energy um, you can be dealing with somebody like a man who's dark married loyal and honest 
Um, you can be talking to somebody who's even possibly like lesbian, gay, bisexual, or even polyamorous possibly. There's something here, Page of Swords, there's something here about quick thinking, possible even spying. Clarify the Page of Swords. This can be about quick thinking. I'm like running out of cards here. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Why is the Page of Swords here? The Tower. Yeah, this is being kept a secret. This is being kept a secret. There's like some type of secret relationship going on. Somebody can be still seeing an ex. Somebody can still be talking to an ex. And if word gets out about this, then there's going to be a tower. Clarify the tower. Yeah, this secret is putting a lot of pressure on somebody. Tell me more about this tower. What is this secret about? I feel like this might have to do with like third party. <sighs> okay, so this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy on the bottom. But I kind of feel like you're you're restricted like I feel like that's what might be even causing the tower you might be getting offers you know from somebody and you might be turning it down like I'm 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 like you might be getting love offers or something yeah, I just saw that I just saw the ace of cups right now. But it didn't flip over. Clarify justice in the reverse. Yeah, King of Swords. Yeah, like... There might be some, like, coming honest... There's honest communication, like, coming in from a possible, like, air sign. Clarify the King of Swords. Page of Cups, yeah, there's like a shocking message here. But there's something here that may not be like right or equal. Yeah, like, I almost feel like this, okay, Libra, this can be about a third party situation. It doesn't have to necessarily be cheating, but this can also be about like a polygamous or like polyamorous relationship. But I almost feel like you're kind of being offered a place, okay, in a relationship or in somebody's life. But I feel like you're putting that on hold because you're so focused on like, the world. Like, I feel like you're just kind of exploring.
So there's some type of communication coming in about some type of offer, possibly even going out and celebrating. But it's like you don't want to do anything. Or like the communication can be kind of stagnant. Clarify the hangman. Oof. The knight of swords flipped over. That's a chunk. All right, the knight of swords just flipped over. So it's like somebody's coming in and they're they're communicating with you about possibly like a new start, something new, like a new cycle. So it's kind of like you're on a quest for a new cycle. Somebody's on a quest for a new cycle. Tell me about the world. five of rods is here this can this doesn't necessarily have to be about um, fighting this can be about learning uh, training what is this about tell me more about the world so this can be about learning learning needing to learn so somebody's talking to you and communicating with you or this can be about like conflicting, like communication, communication that's kind of like conflicting. Strength flipped over. These ones did not flip over. Strength. So this communication can cause conflict and this is going to require strength why is this communication going to cause conflict or why is this action causing conflict there's something here about somebody being slow it's like somebody, like you're offering stability or something, but like it's slow. Or somebody's coming in and making moves, but they're very slow. And it feels like it's taking forever. This can be either you or the person that you're dealing with. And the moon. This is Cancer Pisces energy, but this is also about secrets, deception. Tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? Yeah, you're hoping for like, yeah, this has to do with like hoping for a new beginning. Yeah, we have the King of Pentacles. Yeah, you're so focused on, like, money right now. You're so focused on money right now, Libra. You're focused on money right now. You're focused on career stability. I feel like a lot of you guys are focused on like adulting and just kind of getting your shit together and you're trying not to like rely on like love, you know, for stability. What is this Ace of Pentacles about? Ah! The 
this is what happens when you have small hands and like big cards. Okay. Yeah. I remember we started out with this. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Work, 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 work. So you go to work to find peace. So you go to work to find peace, like work is where you find peace. Work is where you like get away. So it's like you're wishing and you're hoping that you can just possibly go to work. Hmm. What is blocking Libra? What is blocking Libra from Libra's goals? What is blocking Libra's goals? Who and what is blocking Libra's goals? Who and what is blocking Libra's goals? Who and what is blocking Libra's goals? The page of wands, but it is in the reverse. Um, tell me more. Tell me more. What is blocking Libra? This is a lot. Yeah, again, this is about you, like, this... The, the page of wands in the reverse kind of reminds me and tells me that you're not listening to your intuition in regards to making a, decep a, a decision um, that regards something from your past or somebody from your past. It can be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But yeah, you're definitely not listening to your intuition here. And this has to do with like your past. This has to do with finances. This can also be about you holding back communication because of your past. It's like you're holding back communication and you're not making a decision in regards to something from your past or something from your childhood. But I feel like once you make a balanced decision a spiritual decision and you listen to your gut you're gonna find abundance because we go from the moon to the sun the moon this is like yeah this is deception you know this is but this is also hoping manifesting so you're manifesting some type of new beginning okay and this new beginning gift money okay it's gonna bring you peace But it's like you're hoping, you're wishing. But the problem is, is you're not trusting in the divine. You're not trusting in the universe. You're not listening to your gut. You're not listening to your instinct. Once you start listening to that gut instinct and once you make that like decision, okay, regarding your past, you know, regarding your childhood, your mother even, this can be about your mom, your family, once you make that decision and once you, you know, listen to spirit, you're going to be a lot happier. Yeah, the fool. This is all about making a decision. This is all about taking that leap of faith. It's like you keep getting, you keep getting these synchronicities, spiritual synchronicities, spiritual messages, but you're just not listening to them, Libra. You're not listening to them. Um, I think I have my monology. Oh, I don't think I have them here. No, I don't. All right. Oh. I'm going to get you a... Uh, 
message from my devotions book. Okay. So Libra, it's kind of looking like you're kind of holding yourself back. And I feel like you're holding yourself back from like love and moving forward in like career and job. I feel like it can be an ex that's holding you back. It's either so, it's something from your past. It can be an ex. It can be your mother, your family, somebody from your family, um, an old coworker. Because there's a lot of stuff about work here: work conflict, secrets, communication, possible third party. Somebody's obsessed with somebody. Angels for its sides, what can you tell me for Libra? Ooh, be ready. So Libra, this is your message. Do you read this verse and think, but I'm no minister? You don't have to be. But as a believer, you do not need to read God's word and learn how it applies to your life. What you learn are lessons that can be shared in everyday conversation and friendship. Know the word, be ready to share it. When it's easy and when it isn't, gently use God's word to show the right way to live and the right choices to make. Be careful to be patient with those you share with. Be careful to correctly give instructions from the word. Be careful, but be firm. So yeah, I feel like this has to do with, you know, you're not getting the message, okay? You're not getting the message because earlier I saw the, the, you know, the page of wands in the reverse. And this talks about, you know, you're getting the synchronicities, you know, spirit god you know they're trying to you know reach out to you and give you these like little messages but you're just kind of ignoring them you're ignoring them you don't notice them um you're just kind of all over the place i feel but i feel like you can be seeing an ex or you are possibly you're possibly even even seeing somebody like somebody you're, you're possibly with somebody that's juggling like you and a marriage and you possibly want them to leave the person that they're with that's another thing that i'm seeing libra there's a whole, <laughs> libra i hate to say this but you're going through a whole lot i feel like you're going through some like family issues because we even have the ten of pentacles here and this is about family stuff. But there's there's a whole lot going on, Libra. There's a lot of toxic shit going on, possibly. But if this is not about cheating, um, then I, I do feel like it can possibly be like you're getting an offer from a couple that possibly wants you to join the relationship and you're trying to make a decision and you're having a hard time making that decision all right well this is this is your guys's reading um, I gotta go because it's getting late but this is your reading, Libra, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if it resonates, please like, comment, share. If not, please check your other signs and placements, okay? Your moon, rising, Venus, north node, and stuff. Jupiter, Venus, you know, you got it, okay? Bye, Libra.